and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Hero. That's right, we got a skip the line donation. We are going to be playing some more Jeskai Hero. We've played it a couple of times so far and it's been really impressive. It's looked good. Um, we've had a lot of success with it. So let's, let's uh, run it back. That's what we're going to be doing here. So our deck kind of looks like, um, you know, doesn't look like necessarily like the most powerful cards put together, but it really punishes any opponents that stumble at all because we can have some really fast starts. You know, whether or not we have Hero of Precinct 1, even, you know, without that, you know, we could have Lightning Stormkin, which is a good attacker in the air. But then we have Tajik and History of Benalia, which, which both hit hard, and then Heroic Reinforcements. This is the key card in the deck. Uh, this is really what makes the deck powerful is heroic reinforcements. It ends games really fast, giving all you know being an anthem for all of your creatures and giving them haste and making uh, two one one. So you know puts four haste power into play plus anthems your team for the turn. Uh, it works really well with history of Benalia because you know like if you play history of Benalia, you make your knight. The next turn you make a second knight. But now you give them all plus everything gets plus one plus one and gains haste, so that second knight gets to attack as well. Uh, these two work so well together. So yeah, then we just have like good disruption. Deputy of Detention is is a fine card, and of course we all know how good Teferi Time Raveler is. Um, Aurelia comes in in the air as well, um, and yeah, it's just a pretty good deck. So let's run it back. We're going to be going through a league like we always do with our donation decks. So we'll see if we can get to five wins before two losses. So far we have the, the first two times. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it by saying something there. Yeah, Mardu Knights could maybe be a thing in standard. I think that's... It's certainly possible. We'll see how the mana works with Mardu. We'll see like what the lands are like, but I think there is like that three color land, right? That like adds Mardu color if you you know, if you are casting a knight. So it certainly has some good cards. Like um obviously Knight of the Ebon Legion is amazing. We all know that, but you know, the new set um you know, certainly is uh trying to to have some decent knights and you know has another good one drop with fervent champion that was i was looking what was the name of that that card so yeah it has a, a second good one drop so um and then yeah we just saw this this new one this black lance paragon yeah i definitely think as long as the mana works like that's going to be the hard part if the mana works the deck can be it can be a deck All right, well, we got a really good curve here. I could just, you know, not play hero so it doesn't die to the obvious removal spell that they have up here. But it's just, I don't think that's a really good line for us. I think we just let them use removal. This is a problem for us. If I knew that they were going to have Priest of Forgotten Gods with creatures the next turn, I would have saved Hero. My opponent played that very well against a two drop. And basically, you know, against like what we got going on here, they played that very well. I think if I just play Tajik. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. If I would just play Tajik, um, they would be able to just play another creature, activate Priest, you know, get rid of my Tajik, and it's. Grimmy Initiate's a, a perfect card to, you know, the next turn, activate, get rid of my Aurelia and all that kind of stuff. So basically looking for, there we go. 
I say looking for removal for priest, but hero works as a way to get more creatures. That was a really good draw step for us. Never mind. Well, GG. We gotta get removal for, like, we need, like, deputy detention, for example, or something like that, or, you know, lightning strike, or. Yeah, I don't know why they did that one da that other one damage to. If they can do the one damage upstairs, they don't have to do the one damage to us. Did not want to trade Devil for Hero. Yeah, our, our opponent did not do very well with the Hero triggers, but it's not going to matter. That's perfect hand for them. All right, did I say Hero triggers? I meant Mayhem Devil triggers if I said them. I don't know if they know that they could just do the damage to me. Yeah, they figured it out with Tajik. Kill Tajik first. Unfortunately. I don't think this is too tough a matchup. I I I like our chances. That's I don't expect that to happen very often with them having, you know, like the priests like that and and us not having any removal at all for it, especially here after sideboarding. I think we'll be able to kill priest. But that was that was like the ide ideal um that was that was ideal for their deck. Not sure if I want the Dawnbringers, honestly. I should probably play them. Yeah, I should probably play them. That's Sky Knight Vanguard. Flame Sweep's just so awkward in our deck. I guess I get to play around it. I don't have to like just play these things out to the to the battlefield. There's not really a better option. It's just it's just really awkward playing all these things that die to flame sweep and then flame sweep. Okay, need a sideboard. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it doesn't hit my, my flying creatures, that's true. So it just hits hero and, and history. And... 
Tajik and, here, and reinforcements. And the creatures that Legionnaire puts into play. But doesn't hit everything. Alright, we want to just draw spells. We'll just keep on drawing spells. We got Coil for a Priest. Never mind about the Coil. Every land that we draw is just is just dead. We need to just draw spells. Come on, deck. <sighs> Won't lie. I'm a pretty great player. Don't worry. I brought company. Our twenty four land deck. Say hi to my fiery friends. Well, this is really, really frustrating. It's really frustrating. They're just sitting over there on three lands with just tons and tons of interaction. Just whatever we if we draw their stuff, they'll just be able to have plenty of cards for me here. That are sitting with a loaded hand. Must be nice. So this is going to be a classic. Mana screw beats mana flood kind of game, it looks like. I would be very happy to just sit at three lands. With this deck as well, we have hardly anything to cost four or five. So they have like an extra five cards. Go get em, buddies. That we don't. Those four in that one. I guess I play this. I guess we have to to block. Hey, these little guys are great. It's kind of frustrating because I've I've played my opponent's deck quite a bit, and it's never. I haven't like done that well ever with that deck. And just crushed us here. I'm just taking lethal. Bleh. It's really frustrating. Okay. Match number two. New match. We'll forget about that one. Forget about drawing you know, like those four or maybe five lands, whatever it was, at the beginning. So we'll put steam vents down to the bottom. 
And again, we have four lands, so again, we're going to hope we just draw spells. Our deck doesn't do too well whenever we draw seven lands, as we saw both of those last two games. Just more of the same. Because both games are just drew like seven plus lands, and here we are. So again, already having five. So I could, I could you know hold up a response for Firebrand, but with this being a cavalcade deck, they could have the, the one three, um, and I would want to response, the one three. All of my creatures dying to shock is not ideal, against red decks. See, I didn't play Tajik because I didn't want them just to be able to shock Tajik. All right, so the plan is to use response to kill Krenko before they get the um, so I'm thinking they don't get the one ones uh, they still get the one Alright, Storm. I'll see you tomorrow. That's more like it. So we can maybe attack for a whole bunch of damage next turn. Guess we're gonna have to like chump block with Stormkin. We may be able to get 14 for next turn. De like, you know, depending on what my opponent does here. Ugh. All right, so yeah, we have to chump block. But the Tajik, pre you know, prevented them from killing the Stormkin as a blocker. All right, so we take six. All right, how do I have 14 next turn? Um, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I just need one, I need one extra 1-1 one, one to attack so I can block both of these. If they have another creature though, now I don't have lethal, but this keeps me alive through a three damage burn spell. So it's basically, do I wanna, do I wanna have lethal through another blocker or do I wanna be protected from a three damage burn spell, but then not have lethal through a, another blocker. This is a tough call. I 
We'll go... We'll go this route, hopefully. I guess the three damage burn spell kills Tajik, though. Okay, well. All right, so this should be lethal if I count it up correctly. Be a bad idea. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I didn't. I didn't count. So actually, we were good even through another blocker. I didn't count Tajik and Hero being four power. I only counted them as three power. So they even dealt an extra damage. So yeah, even another blocker. I guess they block one of these things when I had it. But yeah. Okay. Saw so heroic reinforcements there. You know, it was looking, it wasn't really looking like we we're going to win that game, and then suddenly, boom, heroic reinforcements. Yeah, myself, I don't have a, a salt emote on mine. I have a tilt emote. But I don't have like a, a salt emote. All right, Flame Sweepers, Liras. Those are in. Coils are in too. So I think we take out. I mean, Teferi did did its job, but we just brought in a bunch of other removal. We're going to take out Teferi's, one Aurelia, and a couple of these vanguards. Teferi, like, is, you know, s does slow them down still. You know, it's, just a, it's just a good... Um, it's a good tempo card. As we saw there, like it just bought us a turn. Getting rid of um, their 1 3 flyer for a turn. All right, deck, now we could use another land. All right, deck, I take back all the stuff about us drawing way too many lands. The other games, I take that all back. I would like to draw more lands, please. Going with the Stormkin because Stormkin can block War Boss. Their hand doesn't look particularly good.
Never mind. Our hands loaded. Why are you doing this, deck? Yeah, sacrificing the Steamkin was not advisable. But better lucky than good. taking lethal there. Even if I lava coil the war boss that still does five to me. Blech. Okay, we're going to need like three or four lands. Ugh. I rage quit after the first time that happened to you with the Steamkin mistake. Come on. I have to go to I have to go to 5, right? Yeah, we gotta go to five. Twenty four lands. I mean we lost our I need that. We lost our first match because we just played two games of flooding out <clears throat> of having, you know, like seven, eight, nine, ten lands, something like that. I don't remember exactly how many, but just tons of lands. The first match, both games, and now And now it looks like we're going to lose two uh, matches because of not having lands. Like, we have lands now, but we had to mold a five, so now we don't have cards. And our hand's just loaded. We could draw Flame Sweep. Stop. Flame sweep. Well, we're not out of this. If they just have, if they have nothing. I can't play that. <clears throat> I can't shock in to play that. So they have nothing and just pass the turn. Nothing. Pass. Pass. Come on. Well darn. I'm sorry, Kendis. 
Sorry there. Um, yeah, that's just how magic goes sometimes. So that's the way magic goes sometimes. Um, yeah, that's about all to say there. Um, we did we did have that one that really cool uh, turn there with heroic reinforcements. You got to see the power of that with our opponent being at like fourteen, and us just having a couple creatures out, and then playing a uh, heroic reinforcements for su surprise lethal. So you did get to see that. So that was really cool. Um, but uh, besides that. I wouldn't really say that there was any cards in the deck that really looked that didn't look good. It was really just a, a problem of of mana, just consi consistency there. You know, we just had um, four games that two we had way too many lands. Another one we kept a two lander and didn't draw a third, and then another one where it was just one land mulligan, one land mulligan, keep a five card hand, but five card hands are kind of weak, and our opponent's hand was really good, and our five card hand didn't get there so yeah uh just mana problems but yeah if you're watching on youtube uh definitely recommend check out the other two videos with this deck uh you know we went uh 5 and 5-1 in the other two videos with the same deck um the same 75 we played on sunday to a 5-1 um so yeah i recommend checking those out um also you know you can find those in the in the video panel there some other just guy hero action um but all right that's it for today for just guy hero um you know a little shorter league there but we got we got three other decks work so you know we're playing all five decks today um but anyway i uh, hope you still enjoyed the video if you're watching it later on youtube and don't forget to hit the like subscribe buttons over there leave some comments and all that kind of stuff we are going to be playing this deck again on Saturday. That's the plan right now. Um, but uh, there we go. So uh, if you're looking forward to seeing the deck again, we'll be playing it on a Saturday. But thanks so much for watching some Jeskai Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.